Welcome to Short Times. The movie starts in a high school. Gary Wallace and Wyatt Donnelly, two secondary school geeks, are admiring Deb and Hilly, the cheerleaders they want to be when they grow up. When two seniors named Ian and Max pants them in front of all the girls at the school's gymnasium. Feeling embarrassed, Gray and Wyatt walk to Wyatt's home, where his parents are spending the weekend away from town. While the guys are watching Frankenstein on TV, Gary had the brilliant idea to use Wyatt's laptop to create a virtual woman. In order to increase processing power, they break into a government computer and feed it photographs and data to create the ideal fantasy woman. Gary then uses computer electrodes to attach a dolly in the same way that Frankenstein created his monster. Lisa, a beautiful and intelligent woman with unlimited magical powers, is born as a result of an extremely large power surge that strikes the town. The boys take an awkward shower with her as any boy would in that circumstance. After that, Lisa decides that they should go out. They all travel to a dingy bar in Chicago when she conjures up a pink Cadillac. There, she utilizes her abilities to provide the boys fake identification cards and instructs them to mix. Following much more discomfort, they end up drunk at home, where they discover Wyatt's idiotic elder brother Chet, who was meant to look after the boys for the weekend. To Lisa's dismay, Wyatt keeps Lisa from Chet as Chet blackmails him into paying up, so he won't tell their parents about his crazy night. The following day, when Lisa is shopping for sensual underwear, Max and Ian pour an IC over the boys' heads in front of everyone at the mall. Their behavior hasn't impressed Deb and Hilly. The boys return to their car in shame. As Max and Ian pass her on the escalator, Lisa notices them and tries to attract them to join her by flirting with them. As she waits for the boys to pick her up as she exits the mall, Max and Ian catch up to her. They are frightened of her because she is associated with Gary and Wyatt whom they consider to be fools. Lisa tells Max and Ian about a party at Wyatt's house that night, as she enters a Porsche 928 with Gary at the wheel, of course. Wyatt is also in the dark about this. After that, Gary drives them away as Max and Ian stand there speechless. Wyatt is still anxious about the party when he is at home alone with Lisa. Chet is gone for the evening duck hunting, but she insists that it will go on since the boys need to loosen up. She then goes to take Gary up from his house and meets his parents, Al and Lucy. They are horrified by what she says, but Gary is embarrassed once again when she claims that their tight rules have led him to masturbate in the bathroom, rather than find a lover. After losing his temper, Al tells Lucy to call the police. While he is on the phone, Lisa grabs a gun don't worry, it's a squirt gun and drives Gary off towards the party. As soon as we leave their home, we realize that Lisa has erased the Wallace's memories of their interaction with her. Al even loses track of his son with Lucy. Back at Wyatt's house, the party picks up steam, and Gary and Wyatt seek refuge in his bathroom. When the girls arrive to use the restroom just after Wyatt has messed it up with a nervous crap, they humiliate themselves in front of Deb and Hilly. The boys eventually exit the bathroom when Ian and Max convince Gary and Wyatt to make a second Lisa, in exchange for Deb and Hilly. The boys concur, but of course this invention fails. They are being scolded by Lisa for trying to win over the two jerks, who have been harassing them for all this time, after she notices them. She then explains that the reason they failed was that they neglected to connect the doll to the computer. The electrodes were instead found on a magazine page, that had a picture of a Pershing II medium-range ballistic missile on it. The missile itself flies through Wyatt's room after breaking the roof, enters the house, and eventually comes to rest. Right now, Wyatt's grandparents, Henry and Carmen, show up to pay him an after-supper visit, yet they are shocked to see a rager going on. As they are going to call the police on Lisa, she freezes them and sticks them in a cabinet. At the point when Wyatt panics, Lisa chooses that the young boys need a lift in certainty. She evokes four distraught Max-type bikers to attack the party. This causes total disarray, and the boys conceal themselves in a storeroom, taking steps to be weaklings until the end of their lives. Nonetheless, the bikers tear the young men out of the storeroom, and afterwards start to embarrass them before the leftover visitors. They then take Deb and uneven prisoner to incite a showdown. Wyatt and Gary at long last bite the bullet to save the ladies they love, when Gary takes out Lisa's spurt firearm, he places it despite the lead biker, ruler general, as Wyatt takes his shotgun, eliminating the shells from it. They effectively throw the bikers out Deb and sloping, to fall head over heels for them as well. As Gary waves the spurt weapon around, it goes off, and he discovers that the weapon was real. The following morning, Chet gets back home from his duck hunting adventure, and finds the house is totally destroyed. Lisa has the young boys to accompany the young ladies home, 
While she converses with Chet one-on-one, -on -one, Gary and Wyatt bring every young lady back home and declare their affections for the young ladies with much love, and the young ladies respond with their fondness for them. Once the young boys get back home, they find Lisa has changed Chet into a massive chit, which makes Chet apologize to Wyatt for his way of behaving, so Lisa will change him back. With her task finished, Lisa embraces Gary and Wyatt farewell before Dee appearing. The house then, at that point, mysteriously changes back to typical including Chet. As though nothing at any point occurred, Wyatt's parents get back totally ignorant about the occasions that occurred. The following day at the kids' secondary school, Lisa returns as the new exercise center instructor. Everybody drops and gives her 20. 